People in Parliament, a collection of photographs by Roland Boys MP. It's a nice little book. Roland Boys MP is a very interesting guy. He obviously, because of his job, had access to the people in the photograph at the time. I think this was shot in 1990. He was a very outspoken man. And I do remember him when I was much younger being a member of parliament in the area which I lived. So when I saw the book, it rang a few bells on my head about my, my past and the relevance of Roland Boys. Like I said, he's a very interesting guy. Roland Boys was um, a Labour Party man. He was a front bench speaker, I think under Neil Kinnock. This was shot around 1990. He set up the Alzheimer's Research Trust. And he's just, just a really interesting guy. Sadly, he passed away a few years ago. So let's look at the book. I think it's about 95, 99 pages, something like that. You can still pick this book up. It was published by Hasselblad, includes a donation to Save the Children Fund and Childline. This collection of unique and historic photographs is the result of over two years dedicated work by Roland Boys, member of parliament for Horton and Washington, and that's where I was brought up. The pictures were taken in around parliament and were fitted into a busy schedule of parliamentary and constituency activities. The photography was encouraged and sponsored by Kodak Limited and Hasselblad UK. Limited as a project considered to be significant historical interest. The work follows the pattern of a book of photographs taken in, in Parliament by Sir Benjamin Stone MP and published in 1906. And then it goes on to talk about how Benjamin Stone was limited with the plate cameras and, and such and how Roland Boys had this beautiful modern Hasselblad equipment and that it was all done in available light. So, yeah, let's have a let's have a look at it. People in Parliament, a collection of photographs by Roland Boys, uh, an introduction by Dennis Healy, MP, and then the Hasselblad and Kodak. More logos. I know we've got this sort of these. I think these are the the are chamber guys. I'm not really sure what they're called who facilitate stuff within within the within the chamber, like the guards and and, and what like. And then you've got the police here at the back. So there's a few nice little bits in it as well. I mean, the Hasselblad, you can tell it's a Hasselblad with the markings. Uh, they're gorgeous. I mean, the, the quality is just fantastic. And at the back here, he actually, what does he do? The cameras I used throughout the Hasselblad 500cm with the Carzis 50, 80 and 150mm lens. The material used was Kodak T-Max 400 ISO professional film. All photographs were taken using available light. Sometimes there was very little of it. And there's the man himself there. Some acknowledgements, sponsors. I mean, at the time, you know, 1990, to get a Hasselblad sponsorship was pretty unique and a celebratory thing, you know. It wasn't something to be laughed at. I mean, even now, for me, getting something like a commission or something like this off, off Hasselblad would just be fantastic. So, the foreword introduction, um, speaker of the right honourable Bernard Wetherill, an introduction of Dennis Healy, and it's sort of talking about how uh, the privacy of being a parliamentary MP has been taken away with the advent of TV and, and how they really want that privacy back. And this is sort of just sort of saying, oh, you know, how he was how he was let in to do this because of his access and his familiarity with everybody. And this is speaker's procession through the members lobby. So there will be some people you recognise, there will be some people you may not. And this is uh, Bernard Stone. Oh wow, look, that's the original guy. That's the original photographer. An imitation of Stone. Well, how lovely. And that's Boyce's ode to him, I guess, is that the word? So here we go, the photographs. So what I may do, as you can see, that's the cover, and that the cover is Bernard Weatherwell MP, Conservative Croydon North East. It's interesting that 
because he's a Labour man, he's put a Conservative on the front of the um, of the cover. So I, I don't know what the hierarchy is on that or what the angle is on that. That surprises me. I thought it was something like Healy or something like that. So Dennis Healy, MP, Labour, Leeds East. Bernard Brain, Conservative. And I think you can look at this and it's just a nice historical piece to maybe get some inspiration from and to do, um, to do, you know, your own sort of projects, you know, and you've got some ideas for portraits and stuff like that. I'm a little confused here because that is, uh, Hasselblad's got unique notches, like, in the corners there, they've got like, this notch process. And notching, obviously this notching for Hasselblad really shows that it's a Hasselblad, but notchings on all cameras were f popular, so if you had a load of plates, which this is not, you could tell if there was a problem with one of the films, which, by the notch, which plate you were using. And so notches are quite important, and this is square format. And this is not. So I'm wondering how there's a bit of a slip that in terms of you're putting a almost 35mm style shot in into that, almost 6'9 in a way. So interesting. It's an obviously quite a heavy crop with a make believe borderline on it. So I've never noticed that before. Now we're going back, I'll stop waffling and I'll go back to the square. You can see the, 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 the Hasselblad markers. Andrew Bennett, MP, Labour and Dentham. And reddish. Yeah, reddish. Virginia Bottomley, wow. And Peter Bottomley, uh, Surrey Southwest and Altham. Oh, there's David Blunkett. It's a great shot, look at that. They are a really nice set of portraits. And that is Paul Botang, MP, Labour Brent South. Andrew Mitchell, Sir David Mitchell. Michael Foot, and that's gorgeous. Look at that. That's Lord Callaghan of Cardiff and Michael Foot. Julian Critchley. He's got a good eye, you know. He's, he's here's that crop format again, which is not a square format. Pass the blood. I wonder why that happened. Okay, I'm not going to question it. And there again. So it's interesting. You just... You can't get away from the crop, really. To be honest, if I was going to crop that, why don't they just crop that there? If they were going to... If they wanted to get rid of the edges and... It's interesting. Edwina Curry. Conservative Derbyshire. Nice depth of field. Nice perspective. Pretty easy, really. Just a little bit below the eye line, and I'm noticing that on a lot of the shots here. He's looking down. He's given them this hierarchy in the post, the, po the pause. Everybody so far has been higher than him, and, it, it, and maybe that was it's consistent. So it's obviously well thought out, giving the. Sit the, the, the MP, the stature, the power in the shop. So we're all looking up at them. Interesting. And for anybody learning Port Richard, where the eye line is, is really important in determining who has the dominant presence within the shop. So if you're looking below and looking up to the subject, then you give the subject much more dominance and in in, in power within the shop. If you look at the subject, on the same eye level, you're producing a neutral ground, much more passive. And then if you are higher than the subject, you're making them look smaller and there's less control, maybe a little bit more um, submissive in a way to, to the power of, of your angle and how you're shooting them and what you're trying to say about them. It's quite a complex thing and you should look it up and research it and practice it if you're trying different types of photography. Then it's not just about knocking out the depth of field 
or what background you use with Kate Hoy. It's all about angle of view as well and rule of thirds and all the other design elements. Jeremy Hanley, MP, Conservative Richmond Barnes. Look at Terry Wogan. There she is. Thatcher. Finchley. Question though, you know, obviously, like something like that, it, it, it looks stunning. It's not, it's cropped again as well. So I'm, I'm, I'm getting a bit confused with the format. And it's fine to crop if you have to crop. I'm not, ob I'm not objecting to the crop. I just keep having to move the camera. And that's the square. But I wonder, say something like the Thatcher shot. It's, is it a brilliant shot? Is it because of Thatcher? It's incredible. Is it because of the ears? The, the lampshade stuck behind the head. It, it's, it's okay, but again, looking up. And he, I question some of the stuff, like, you know, to average some of the shots. And I, I don't, I use that word loosely. This is not an average book, it's a lovely book. Whereas, so, you know, you're just sitting a woman in front of that backdrop and, you know, how, how good actually is it? But because it's Thatcher, you, you automatically think it's an amazing shot or you, you, you accept it because you're just really concentrating on the, the central figure within the shot. And it's nice, you know, there's a bit of split lighting there and a combination of getting the ambience here and getting that right. You know, I get the whole exposure thing and with black and white Kodak, it, it, it's, you, you could shoot in the dark and still get beautiful highlights and shadows. It, it's beautiful. So you look at that and it, through the LCD, it looks fantastic. On here, it's a bit soft, but it's cropped and it's okay if it was a general person like it wasn't Sir Geoffrey Johnson. I think it was an okay shot. But then at the same time, what I'm getting at is then he shoots something like that, which I think is lovely. I think it's a beautiful shot. And this is Robert Bogswain. You know, it's nice of use of light. It's just... It's a gorgeously composed shot. So he, he does come across as having to get the standard shot and letting, it, letting the person take charge of the standard shot. And then he's coming up with some great photography like that. That was all I was trying to say. So really, you know, your subjects are really important and they determine really what you, what everybody makes of, of, of the, the narrative within that, and, and it defines the narrative, doesn't it? Again, looking down and up, so there's nobody yet been given a different angle of view. Matthew Boothroyd, Labour West Brom West. Gerald Kaufman, and that goes back to that simple shot with a well-known um, Labour LP. And then you've got who Roland Boys worked with, a little bit more intimate, because he, he knew him and he worked alongside him. So you get that, there's a little bit more closeness there. I've got to show you this shot of Tony Ben, because Tony Ben's a magical individual. It's a great shot. And I guess his, what's coming through with these is his, his relationship with these people. He gets that access, he gets that happiness and that closeness with it. And this, when I first saw this John Major shot when I was looking through it, and it, it's good, I can see there's a bit of fun going on there. But there's something in this shot which really plagues me. And I wonder if Major's done it on purpose. And it's these two fingers here. It, it's got to be, it's got to be. But anyway, so I just see this. And I wonder if that's Major's sign really. It's clever, because he is smirking away. It's an interesting shot. So there we go. It's getting these guys. I've been on this bank, but I've actually shot pictures there myself for PR stuff. So, you know, it's it's okay. 
you can't really put it in the same class as something like that or the other stuff, but you know, you've got to get the shots, you've got to get the shots. John Smith, Derek Foster, Labour, Bishop Auckland. Oh, that's a lovely shot. That's a nice shot. Look at that. He's a good photographer. Now, that's a little bit, yeah, he's a little bit higher, Richard Luce, but not much. Colin Monaghan, Conservative, Lewisham. I think to many, I hope many press photographers and photographers based around London look at this and then probably like me, like probably a lot of them, know this stretch of grass right next to Parliament very well because we are usually sent there to do PR shots and portraits of MPs. I've been there loads of times for numerous reasons to do shoots on the grass and that's Parliament there. The River Thames is to you right there and the stretch of grass and this area here is just somewhere where we end up going and I've shot quite a few MPs along this area and I'm sure many of the press boys and PR boys have done the same. David Oran, Plymouth, Devon, Devon, Devonport, Social Democrat. Oh, there's the Reverend Ian Paisley. That's a great shot. Democratic Unionist, Antrim North. That's lots of names, isn't there, who you recognise. George Robinson MP, Gordon Brown. How young does Gordon Brown look? Austin Mitchell, Labour, Great Grimsby. Tom King, Conservative, Bridgewater. David Davies, Conservative, Booth Ferry. David Waddington MP, Ribble Valley Conservative, for David Steele. Good shot, this is a lovely use of available light. It's that gentleman's club feel, isn't it? Nicholas Solmes, Conservative. Sir Victor Lefanu, I think that's how you pronounce it. Sergeant in Arms, gorgeous shot. Love the passiveness, I love the quality that he's looking away, I like that. As you see, Nearly everybody in here is looking at the camera, is high up. There's a lot of smiles. The only thing which puts me off about this book is that inconsistency with the format of the cropping. And I have no idea why, absolutely no idea why. Michael Cummins, Assistant Sergeant at Arms. Ron Cox, doorkeeper. These are lovely. And I guess with these, look at them, they're, they're lovely and much more well constructed and that it has more time with these guys that was Barry Underwood that was superintendent clerk vote officer this is Brian Cox they're gorgeous whereas I guess with the MPs it's quick and in out head waiters strangers and members down in room and he's still he's shooting from below again and this is George Blakelock attendant and here's the secretary Sir Kinnock Sunai and Janet Royal. The chefs. Oh, he's looking down now. That's interesting. This is Sarah and Maureen, the cashier and supervisor from Strangers and Members. Cafeteria. That's a nice shot. Justin saw the Spence Barman. I like the pictures of the, the staff. They're amazing. They really are lovely. And you did. Fantastic job here, Roland, and it's a nice little legacy to leave behind. And well done to Hasselblad for supporting this. And there's an interesting mix of some great stuff in there and some interesting stuff. People in Parliament, I'm Roland Boys, you can get this book still on Amazon and stuff. Go and get it, it's a lovely edition, especially if you're learning how to be portrait photographer or you just like collecting portrait books please subscribe to the channel please subscribe to twitter we've got loads of things going on just get clicking the buttons and 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 please share and support thank you very much